is when you got into the program, what did you expect? I mean, was there uh, some expectations that you were looking for that pretty much sold you on the program? I didn't have the money to invest myself. I would love to go into real estate myself and invest myself, but here I heard opportunity that it's a, a real estate opportunity without investing my own money. That's what really got me excited about it. And do you feel like the training is getting you where you're wanting to go? The training is good. I have about three people that are semi, uh, that are interested. So one is the one that I sent you over that I signed on, which was very high. But actually, I do have a little bit of good news to tell you because he did come back around. And I, I, I just had a feeling with that one, actually, that something is going to work out with that. So I went, and that's why I signed it high. Like I told you right away that I had some kind of feeling on it. And he did come back around. He went down from 140 to 96,000. Yeah. Yep. So I have actually an investor that's pretty interested in it. It's somebody I know. I know that he does DC buy such properties in that area. So I just called him up and I told him, you know, I have something. Tell me what the, this isn't this what they're asking for. You give me a price, what you think you would be interested to come look at it. So he told me then, um, not, uh, it has to be under 100, he told me. So I went back to him after like three, four weeks after that to the guy. And I told him that, um, you know, I know I signed on 140, but I'm really getting offers are much, much lower. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to really, I, 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 I really don't want to like disappoint you what, I, what I'm getting the offers, but I really feel obligated because I signed with you. I just have to tell you the numbers and I'll understand if you tell me no. So I, when I told him, it doesn't look like I'll be able to get you more than 90 as of now at the offers that I'm getting right now. So he tells me, no, no way, forget about it. And he even tells me, you know, um, you can come pick up your $10 that you left over here <laughs> because I gave him $10. So I told him, no, you keep the $10 and I'm still going to try for 140 I told him. Let's keep it that way. Two days later, he calls me back. He tells me, you know what? If you can get me down arrested, I told you 90. If you can get him up to 96, it's a go. So I called him back up and hopefully we're going to meet tomorrow at uh, 5.30. That's what it's supposed to, that's what it's called for right now. Uh, do you think the training did well for you? With, with the phone call, the training was perfect. I, I really got into it and I'll be honest, the first the first phone call or two, you know, I was still like, the way I was talking was like, like probably the person on the other side was still, able to, was still able to see probably that I'm talking off of a script. But then I put my own words into it, and you know I got the hang of it, so I'm fine with that. But we're the only company in all of the coaching companies that provide leads. Uh, was that important to you when you came in? Um, basically, that was everything for me. Yeah. Um, in short words, yeah. Uh, the leads are are extremely important, and then it's just figuring out the leads and where you're going, right? Right. Now, the whole reason behind this call was I want to know your goals. Uh, I believe the vision is important. Uh, it's important to know where we're at. And now that we're current, so I know what kinds of things you're going to need help with, now I need to know your goals. And you may not be able to answer them today. But it's important to me to know where you're going. Extremely important. Without vision, this is just going to fizzle away. So I want to know, you know, do you want to own a hundred homes in your, in your career? Do you want to own and rent them? Do you want to flip two or three a year? Do you, I mean, what is your goal? I want, you know, I've got some investors that they want to be landlords and they want to retire from their job because they want to build that. Uh, I need to know that. So I know how to get you there. It, I think, the, the problem, the suffocating part about this business is everybody looks at today and everybody wants to succeed this month. It doesn't work that way. We need to have a vision so we can work all of this together. So, you know, if we can, if you tell me, you know what, Nick, by in the next 10 years, I want to own five rental properties that are, can replace my wife's income. I don't know, maybe that's your goal. 
uh, or I want enough rental properties in the next 10 years to replace my income? Um, I know my goal, and my goal was always um, to own properties. So that's the question. My goal was always to own a lot of properties. And I told you before that my, I was always looking at real estate. It answers my question in a big picture. What I want you to do is I want you to hone it in a little tighter. The easiest way to do that is to, okay, Nick, I want to own five income producing properties in the next five years. That's my goal. And I want, I'm hoping you will show me how to get there. That's what I want to hear. So if you want to own, now understand, five rental properties is not even detailed enough because five single family homes are rental properties. If you tell me, right. Nick, I want to own 30 units, well, we can find, maybe we'll find somebody that wants to sell on contract that's got a 35 unit complex and he'll sell it to you on contract. So all of this is important, extremely important to you, first of all, and to me to get you in the right direction. And again, I'm not asking you to come up with it tonight. When it usually comes to me about 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. But I want you, I want to know where you're going. And you're going in the right direction, that's cool, but the, the vision is so wide that if you get off course, it's no big deal because you can still see it. Right. So, so my coach always says, going this way, does it get you closer to your goal? No. Then I'm not going that way. I'm continuing this way. If doing this gets me closer to my goal, then I'm going to continue that way. So I need you to hone that in. The wide path, uh, it's silly, but... The person that chases two rabbits will never catch one. You have to chase one rabbit. Right. Okay? So what I want to know is what is your one rabbit? I want to know right. what your goal is. Once we have a vision, then nothing else matters but that end vision. And if we can do 10 contracts a month, that's still getting you to your vision. That's what I want. That makes sense. I hear what you're saying. It makes sense. So let's put an end date on your vision, meaning you're going to tell me, Nick, this is where I want to be. You remember in the training, I tell you, it doesn't fit my formula, but if it's all right with you, I'll check back with you in 30 days or so. Yes. Now the importance comes in, your formula. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see the smile now. Because you're starting to understand that there actually is a direction of where we're trying to go. Mm -hmm. Now you're starting to bounce. Now I'm giving you some excitement. So where do you want to go? Oh my God! You're you're you're, you're, you're what are you? You read faces? Oh yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm not asking you tonight, Ed. I really am not. But the excitement comes into getting you there. And if you quit looking at a monthly success or failure, you won't, you will not fail. If you look at the future, you will succeed because it takes steps to get there. Zig Ziglar yeah. says that the elevator is broken, but the stairs aren't. It takes one step at a time. Right. And I just want to get you to the right steps. Makes sense. So let's put an end date on it. Well, this weekend's a little quick, but I don't know why you can't have me a, a five-year and a 10-year goal and a retirement goal by the end of next weekend. Let me just give you my first, my, my first goal. Let me give you right now. Do it. I want by in two months, I should be able to quit my job. Is that possible? Two months to quit your job? <laughs> Better put your nose to the grindstone. You are not through your learning curve. I'm just looking forward for that. And I'm and I will tell you, Abe, I will I will be pushing you towards that. I want that for you. But you're gonna have to mm -hmm. put your nose to the grindstone. And if I'm gonna write jab you right now, that main spreadsheet will keep you from that. That main spreadsheet will keep you from right. it. So don't forget it. Okay. Okay.
You're smiling. Okay. I finally got you excited and smiling. You've got a direction. You know where you want to be. You want to quit your job. You can't quit your job without replacing the income. You can't replace no. the income without a goal. So let's get the goal so we can replace the income. So okay. I'm going to send you a cute little email when we're done with this that you're going to send me a time to where we can get together and talk about your goals. No problem. You going to have it ready? I will. All right. I will make, I will make sure to have it ready. All right. All right. All right. So I'm done, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad and super pumped that you are all the way through the steps and you see the big picture. Um, make sure you let me know what you need. Okay. okay. I can't read your mind. I tell my wife right. the same thing. I can't read your mind. Right. Yeah, but women don't understand that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and the greatest thing about us guys is, is I, you can tell me that I'm a prick and we can still go have a good dinner together. <laughs> that's right. So let me know what you need and I'll make sure that you're taken care of. Okay, excellent. Sounds great.